SureDog.com here with Invictus Bantamweight champion Tanya Evinger victorious tonight. Rematch. Weird controversial finish the last time. Talk about the emotions going into this, not to mention all the talk beforehand. Was it motivation? Was she in your head at all? Uh, no, she wasn't in my head. I think um, my game plan was just to, to stay calm. And I felt like really calm for this fight. I felt like uh, the weigh-ins were calm, the fight was calm. I didn't feel overworked up and, and nervous about anything. I just uh, needed to do uh, certain things and I went out there and did them. Did she bring anything different this time? The, anything you didn't expect? I mean, she went for submission after submission after submission. She jumped for that guillotine. You shook her off. She went right for that arm. Was there any kind of deja vu going through your head, like don't step on her head? No, I mean, I would have stepped on her head again. I didn't care. Um, obviously, uh, no, I wasn't. I, I just don't feel like out of position in that, in that situation. I, I just, that's not something normal for me. So obviously I don't feel in danger there, but um, you know, I don't know. None of that really felt endangered to me, but uh, I, I just don't understand like to jump guard like that up against the fence. I'm going to hold you up against the fence until your legs are tired or your arms tired or something. But she didn't have nothing like choking my, you know, my uh, blood or anything. So I knew it wasn't going to go nowhere. So. What about some of the submission attempts she had afterwards? She went for a heel hook. The knee bar looked like it was deep at one point. Uh, she was really struggling for it, but she didn't have it. It was never there. I, I think that... Uh, Maybe she learned her moves on YouTube, and um, you know, there's there's certain positions you have to have, and, and to make them actually work. So, even if she had that deep, would you have tapped? Was there anything that was going to make you tap tonight? Not a fucking knee bar. I'm going to stand up. If I can get my foot on the mat, I'm going to stand on it, and I'm going to punch you in your face. So that's what I was looking for, or bend bend that knee and punch you in the face. So I don't know. I don't. I didn't really feel like there was anything. I mean, my coach goes for that all the time, and. I don't know. I did, I did heal her in the body. There's, there's all kinds of stuff I like to do from there to make you forget about cranking on that leg. <laughs> you had said in the cage post-fight how thankful you were for Invicta, that you'd be content if your career were to end up end here in Invicta. Do you not have hope for the UFC? I mean, obviously it's still a goal. Do you feel like that there's the weird relationship you had with Sean Shelby? Is that something that's held you back? Do you feel like they're just not interested? Um, I just feel like there's no reason to have any wishful thinking like I mean I, I waited long enough and I've done as much as I can so I mean it's nothing on my part I can do I can just keep on winning so I'm not gonna wish for something that, that uh, I may never get so you know it doesn't I don't want to hurt my own feelings here so I'm just happy where I'm blessed to be where I'm at and happy and it is what it is if I go farther I go farther if I don't I don't so when you hear someone talk in the ring that they'd be content with their career at ending at this point. Is that something you've been thinking about? I mean, you're getting now into the, the, the second half of your 30s this year. Is retirement something that has been a thought for you? Uh, every time I cut weight, it's my last fight. You know what I mean? So, um, uh, it just goes through my head all the time. And I'm like, God damn, this is the last fight. You better fight your ass off. And then I win and I'm like, let's do it again. And then, you know. So, um, no, it's the same thing my whole career. So, uh, I don't think, I always say I'm really not going to retire until somebody starts beating my ass, but uh, I don't want that to ever happen either, so I'm going down kicking and screaming the whole time. Have you thought about possibly fighting at 145, going for uh, two belts in this well, promotion? I thought, about, I thought about going for 125 too until I cut weight, and uh, you know, it's a, I don't know, I, I don't know, I just, uh, I don't know why I torture myself with weight cuts, but um, I think even if I went to 45, I'd be like, five pounds crying, cut five pounds and be crying about that. So there's, it's, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just out here doing it, doing my thing until I can't do it no more. You've had a pretty long career. I'm just wondering what is it that, that keeps you motivated that still makes you want to do this besides just money? Well, I would do want a food truck and that means money. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I'm just a competitor. I think uh, I've had a lot of great jobs in my life and careers and, um, I just keep coming back, so I think I'm an athlete at heart, so I do it until I can't no more. What does the rest of 2017 look like for you? You, you want to fight again? Yeah, I just want to hold this belt as long as possible. That's it. just want to win.